Today we're going to try a very short project in SketchUp. So we're going to open it up. If it asks you anything about what template you want to pick when you file new, make sure to choose feet and inches because we're living in America and that's what we do here. Um, so here's uh, the new version of SketchUp. Uh, you'll see that it has a gentleman standing there. And I'm going to use my normal uh, square tool or a rectangle tool depending on what you make with it. Uh, to make a couple boxes. This is going to be a very simple project. Um, before I even do anything with the boxes, I'm going to use my selection tool to triple click it. I'm going to use my move tool and hold the alt button at the same time to make duplicates of it. So right now, I'm just going to make two. Ultimately, I'm going to need more than that. I'll probably need five. So I'm just going to put them there for now. Um, I can make more duplicates later, but I want to get to the meat of this very short project. Um, we're going to use the push-pull tool to make sure that we're pulling them into 3D. And once I've done that, we're going to decide on what side or face of the object we want to work on. I'm going to work on this whitest face right here. And I'm only going to use my arch tool, uh, which is right over here, and my pencil tool for the remainder of this part of the project. Um, I'm going to use my arches to curve off areas and I want to make sure they're within the, the edges. So I'm going to push this part right off here and in a minute you'll be able to guess what the project is, I'm sure. I'm going to use my pencil tool. When I use my pencil tool, I'm going to make sure that I am staying uh, what's called coplanar and I'll show you what that means in just a minute. If I were to orbit after I finish my drawing, you could see that all those lines are on the same plane. They're on the face of the object. Um, I'm going to come in and see that for a minute to show you the alternative. Okay, a few clicks later and I've come up with a good example. Um, normally when you create edges around a shape, it allows you to push pull that shape. Uh, it'll also turn a color when that happens. But this isn't working. And the reason is that when I clicked, I, was, I wasn't very careful. And I ended up creating something that was not coplanar. Um, you could see that if I orbit a little bit, I actually have what looks like a wire coming out of it, which was my lines. Um, and that won't work. It won't allow me to pull that in 3D. So I'm going to Command Z that. Uh, whoops. Um, and I'm going to make sure that when I make lines on the face of this object that they're on the face. So I could just pause before I click and look for that little on the face icon to come up. Uh, and I'm going to press escape when I'm between tools. Uh, and make sure that this is coplanar hopefully and I'm going to double check that in just a second. All right, so now I finished that shape, so I'm going to orbit, and I can see that it's all on the same plane. So when I try and push it, push or pull it into 3D, I'm able to do that. So what you're hopefully starting to notice is that um, I'm going to be making letters. Uh, so all I really need are my pencil tool and my arch tool to find out what I need to cut out for these letters. I'm going to keep this one straight. A little click, click here and then I'm going to pull that into 3D as well. I'm going to orbit a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to push it right through to the other edge, which makes it disappear. And here I have my S, but it's a little sloppy. So I might do things to improve it. Like for example, I might take my arch tool and I think it would look cooler if I had a little arch going like that. Um, I'm going to erase the excess lines that I no longer need. And uh, let me just see how that ended up. All right, so that was a problem. Uh, you know that when you use the eraser, you have to look around to see if you accidentally erased anything that you didn't want to erase. So let me command Z that. What I did wrong was I really should have pushed this over first to solidify it. I want to go back to that end. And now I bet if I erase it, it won't take out the other parts. You can see that it did not. So um, that actually worked. All right, so. That's the beginning of my letter. I still feel like some things are more sloppy than I would like. So um, maybe if I added another curve over, or actually let's not, I have enough curves. I want to do a straight line. And I can push pull this off. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is make one more change because I'm still not thrilled with its overall shape. I think that might make it. That might be the best move right there. Great. Okay. 
Um, so now that I have my S pretty much complete, I think it also bothers me that this isn't even. I might fix that later. But now that I have the overall shape of my S complete, 